How do you want to remove commissioners on account of Chebukati? After Parliament's Justice and Legal Affairs Committee last week listened to petitioners seeking to remove the four dissenting IBC commissioners, Monday and Tuesday this week was later to give commissioners room to respond. I'm here on behalf of Juliana Cherera. IEBC Vice Chair Juliana Cherera, however, was a no-show, but was represented by her councillor Paul Mboya, who was among lawyers and Azimio MPs, who stormed out of the committee session last week, citing lack of jurisdiction of the committee to hear the matter. Before he addresses the committee, we need to know whether we are properly constituted, because what they cited is that we lack jurisdiction. I'm not going to raise any issue of jurisdiction further. Having been raised and decision having been given. A tweet by President William Ruto on Friday last week was raised by Cherera through Council Mboya as one that already paints the commissioners as guilty and rogue without a fair hearing and termination of matters they have been accused of. The end of this process as is envisaged in the standing orders and the constitution may very well reach the desk of this person who was called this official's rogue. That's why I'm bringing that. So we need further and better particulars on this issue of rogue. The session was however adjourned to early Tuesday morning after a request to get 10 days to respond to the petitions was rejected. We are asking this honorable committee for an adjournment in order to obtain further and better particulars from His Excellency the President. The hearing of this matter is hereby adjourned to tomorrow. In the afternoon session, Commissioner Irene Masit also failed to appear in person, neither did she send a lawyer. However, in a communication through her lawyer, Donald Kipkori, to the chair, she maintained that the committee lacked jurisdiction to hear the matter. Consider the matter based on what may be found in writing, and if there isn't anything found in writing, then we'll consider the petition as if it went um, unresponded to. With one day now remaining for the commissioners to defend themselves, it is not yet clear if any of them will appear before JLAC, as the committee is set to later retreat thereafter, to write a report which will be tabled in the plenary on Thursday. Should it be adopted, President William Ruto will constitute a tribunal to investigate Commissioners Juliana Cherera, Irene Masit, Francis Wanderi, and Justice Nyangaya. Joel Chacha, K24 TV, Nairobi.